Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with Stampin' with Diane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So welcome to my YouTube Live or my Facebook Live. Um, I'm really glad that you have found me. Um, I do um, go live five times a week. So if um, you don't like when I talk with different people, because I like to interact with the different people as I go along, just watch it on the replay and then you can scoot on by. Um, but welcome. Um, this is Monday. This is where I do a fancy fold or a 3D project. And basically, um, it, it's it's just a way that I can show you different ways to make different cards and that sort of stuff. My whole purpose of doing my lives is to create you as um, a very confident and um, enabled uh, Stamper to make cards or 3D projects as it may be. Just remember, um, like I say, this is part of a live presentation. Um, now, so today what we're going to do, hello, Tian, and hello, Facebook user. Like I say, I'm not sure who I'm speaking to. If you haven't given StreamYard permission, just put, put it, oh, Lila, <laughs> welcome. So today we're going to do a triple cascading card and I call it a faux cascading card because it's it's well I, I'm not sure I, and you know what there wasn't a name for it I actually saw this card done on um, a friend of a friend's blog and she didn't have any instructions with it so I kind of ran into a bit of problems um, with it so we'll see how it turns out hello from Arizona all right um, so we're going to use hot air balloon and I mean, I know that a lot of people don't really care for this um, this stamp set. Um, this is actually one that I have for my monthly card club coming up. And this really is a very versatile um, uh, and a cute stamp set. And the designer series paper is amazing. Um, it's called Lighter Than Air. It has this one, this image. It's got some really pretty images with it. Um, I didn't bring any of those over, but honestly this is a great stamp set uh, i know i've already done a bonus project using this hot air balloon and really it it is one of those amazing ones this was another fun fold that we had actually done on it um, in that particular class so it was a lot of fun to do plus the cards were pretty cool as it was all right so i this is kind of made up by um looking at this thing and kind of figuring out and using lots of scrap paper. So I'm hoping that it turns out okay. Oh, well, thank you, Marie. Oh my goodness, Marie, that is very, very kind of you to say that. Oh, well, thank you. Um, and hello, awesome. Okay, so this particular card, I am using um, Balmy Blue. This piece is five and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. Okay. My next piece is five and a half by three and three quarters, and I've scored that at four and a quarter. And my other piece, a balmy blue. Oh, great, Kathy. Welcome. And this piece is two by four and a quarter. And then I also went and I cut the second largest stylish shape um, dies out of the balmy blue. Now I went ahead and on here, I'm going to show you some of the mats and everything else, but this is going to go on here like this. It's cascading. So it's going to come like this and these parts are all going to have different, um, I'm actually going to turn this over so that I don't have that rough edge there. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and do the layering on here and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this into a cascading thing. All right, so I have the middle one here, which happens to be four by five and a quarter, and that's just going to go on the inside. Um, now, if I want to, I can actually sort of gussy this up just a tiny bit because it is hot air balloon. So I am taking my basic border dies, and this is the cloud one. And we're actually going to make some clouds on here. So I'm going to come in. I need some scrap paper. You know what? Oh my goodness, you're going to see my notes. I don't really want that to happen. So I'm just going to come in with this piece on here. 
I'm coming in with a blending brush. And I'm pretty sure that's a good blending brush. It, it has the same sort of color. And we're going to use the balmy blue. And what we're going to do, hello, Nicole from the Netherlands. I love your country. I must say, I do love your country. Um, yes, I ranted and raved to my team yesterday about the food that's there and all that sort of stuff and the hospitality and how um, advanced the Dutch are um, to our country with their water management and different things like that. I, I'm, I'm just blown away by that. All right, and your history is amazing as well. Canada is such a young country that we don't really have that kind of history. All right, so we're almost done this. And that's just adding a bit. So we kind of did our own DSP. These bordering dyes, these basic bordering dyes are um, the retiring. Now, this particular stamp set isn't retiring, which is amazing. So this piece is just going to go in here. Oops, and I forgot all my glue and everything down at the other end. But I have a funny feeling my glue is going to be out anyway, so I'm going to bring in a spare glue. Just to let you know, there's certain things that are going up in price with the new catalog. Which food did I like the best? Hmm. Well, I'm not a fish fan, so I can tell you that wasn't one of them. I would say... Your, your pastries are amazing. Um, the Stroop waffles, they were amazing. Um, yeah. I didn't, I didn't taste a lot of the baking, but even, I have to tell you, um, when we were in Vienna, and I hope I'm not offending anybody, but your, 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 pastries and your croissants are much better than Vienna's. I don't know. And the homemade jams that they have in the different restaurants and yeah, it was amazing. And the hospitality and the hot and the strew waffles. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful country. All right. So we have another one that's going like this. Now, one thing I'm going to do right off the top here, getting all, talking all about that. I am going to come in and I'm just going to mark this right here. And then I'm going to come in and we are then on this particular one here. This piece here is three and a half by four inches and it's going to go right on here and this piece here is three and a quarter by three three and one quarter by three and one quarter and we're going to put that on there like so so let's go ahead and do that yeah um i tell you a stampin up it gives us that opportunity that we can basically um um travel and what better way to make an on-stage event into a travel experience all right so this piece is going to go on to here so let me go ahead and put that on oops put that in there like i say this um particular card was sort of derived I looked all over the place for this for what the measurements would be and I didn't really find it so I'm hoping it's going to work for you as well oh Tom Poos is the best way to start a morning oh let me tell you on the food tour that we went on we did get some Tom Poos and yes it is delicious as well um so, yeah, honestly, it was amazing. And we had actually a person from France that gave us the food tour. And um, 
that's what he started us off with was Tom Poos. If I pronounced that correctly, I'm not sure. Okay, so this piece here is one and three quarters by four inches. And this piece is one and a half by three and three quarters. Oh, you know what? I did the wrong way. So I'm actually just gonna turn this one over. That's okay. That's not how I intended. And I have no idea what's going on um, in here, but um, yeah. Okay, so this is just gonna go in here like this. And then I wanna make sure that that stays down there. Then when this goes on here, remember I've marked this piece, and then I'm also gonna go here and I'm going to mark, I wanna make sure that's all even and I'm going to mark this before we attach anything. Now, in order to make this cascading, I am going to cut from this corner down here to just past this corner there. So I'll just bring in my trimmer. So from this corner here to just past that corner or that one right there. So I'm going just a fraction past there, just like that. Hello, Colleen. And I'm believing that's Kathy. And then this one, I'm cutting from that corner down to just past this corner. Like this, and then you'll start seeing the cascade done on here. Okay, so this is going on to this piece here. This goes on to this piece, and then like this. And that's how the cascading part is going to work. So I know that that piece is, I'm gonna do some more cheating along the way, just so that I don't get the glue in a spot where I don't want it. So I'm just gonna come in and use this and glue this. Let's go ahead and glue this part right on there. Just like that. So that's our first cascading. I'm sorry, I had that out of the reach there. Good morning. Oh, I'm so happy you guys have joined me. Now, this next piece here is going to go onto here. Kind of like the way that that showed up. It's going to be kind of covered little bit. So now I'm coming down with the glue on this part. And let's go ahead, match this up at the bottom. Right to the edges. And then I'll come in with the eraser and get those lines off if there's any lines on there at all. So this is, I call it a faux cascading card because I kind of rigged it. So there to there. So if I want, I could put a sentiment here, but I think I'm going to leave that part off. So there's our cascading part of our card. Now, what I also want to do now is this part's going to go Whoops, this part here is going to go onto here. So that's going to be where our hot air balloon is going to go on. So we have to get our hot air balloon stamped. So I have a spare piece of basic white. I am going to use, I'll show you which image. I'm using this particular image and these two images here to do my balloon. So I'm going to get this good and inked up with my balmy blue. Hopefully that's going to be dark enough. So just like this. Hello, Tina. So we have that like that. Then we have this other piece here. 
Now I'm coming down with, whoops, that doesn't, that looks like that's going to come off. I think my pre-order is here. Oh, now that's exciting. So I'm just going to come in and I stamp that off and put that in there. So it's a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to use the other one. Come in with that. Let's stamp off. And then I'm just going to put that in the middle part there. And the beauty of this being um, the photopolymer stamp sets, it works out quite well. So it fills that part up. And then I gone ahead and cut some of my um, some of the dies from there. There's this one. And this one we're going to put right across there. Now we could put this on there or we could also go and put like this piece on there, but we're not going to see behind it. So I'm going to use this and I'm just going to come in and get some of this glue on there. And I'm going to let it set so that I don't have that glue oozing out. We're gonna let that set for a bit of time. Same with, um, we've got the basket and the cables, but I'm gonna actually put this basket onto here and then I'm gonna cut this. I can fussy cut this out, but if we've got the dies, we might as well use them. So let me just put this on there. That's going to set for a bit. Now let's bring in our little cut and emboss machine and use our dies. And that's our big die that we're going to use with our hot air balloon. All right. So we'll just go in here. Now I'm thinking to myself that I'm going to use the um, post-it note tape because I don't want that moving and that's the only thing I have to die cut on so let's see how this is going to work All right. move that out of the way So I don't know what it's like where you live, but boy, it's going to be a beautiful day. It started off pretty crisp this morning, but uh, yeah, it's quite nice. All right. So I have this. Let's bring in that card again. So we have this like this. Whoops. I also have those pieces that are going to go onto this balloon. Let's get rid of this. You know, fussy cutting is very relaxing for me as well. Um, one day I should show what I'm fussy cutting right now. Um, but anyways, we're just going to keep this white. We're going to keep it fairly clean looking. Now with this, I'm just going to come here, just put a bit on here and we're going to let this set as well because that's going to be our cable that's going to go onto our balloon. All right. So this can go onto our, so it's going to go like this, you know, and well, a hot air balloon goes up and down. It doesn't go off onto an angle. So um, and now this we can have going across here with the happy birthday, or we could have it down below here, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. I could have it going there and then I could have this going here. I think that's kind of how I'll do it. Well, thank you, Marilyn. So I'm just going to come and line that up where that cable is going to meet the cable there. Just move that up just a bit. 
And see, by letting it set there, it gets it so that your balloon doesn't pop all over the place. And then we'll come in with our dimensionals. And we can put that onto our circle. So this is just going to go like this. This is going to go like so. I guess we could have done that on a different color. We could have do we could do it like this where it's onto this part here. Let's do it like that. And then actually I even have this in the white. And I think I'll do the white. And it has hip hip hooray. Um, it's your birthday. And I think I will go ahead and use that one. Just take this off of here. And we're gonna use the balmy blue on there. And I'm gonna come in with that thing there. Just like so. Yeah, that'll go good there. So we're going to pop that up there. And if I wanted to, I could have actually done like a border with this other one. But I think we'll just leave that like that. Let's put this right here. This one can go here. So I think I'll just glue that part on there. Ooh, that really came out. We're going to let that set for just a bit. And then we have those beautiful, oh dear, wow, these are ones that are carrying over as well. And these are the rainbow dies or um, the rainbow circles. So let's just put this right here. There, that kind of gives a bit of a, it's kind of a fun card, right? Now I have to let that kind of sit. So I'm just going to hold that like that. It's not sitting down there and staying down there very good. You know what? I can find... Let me see if I can find the other one that's open. No, that's okay. We'll use this because, oh, here it is. It's right here. Probably don't have the right colors. All right. I find that this blue is the one I use the most. So, so let's see if I can use some of these from there. I might take your pick tool. Where is it? My goodness, I'll just take my little. All right, so it, we could use the pink um, to go with that. I kind of want to use some of that. No, we have to go and use our blue. Oh, thank you. All right. So let's go here and I'm going to use the Azure Afternoon Blue. So we can go there, one here, and then we'll go with another one right here. There we go. So there's our faux cascading card. I call it faux because it's not, we kind of made it into a cascading from there. So it should look, it should, you know, um, I'm not sure. This person called it cascading, but none of this stuff was happening with it. So um, yeah, anyways, so this is um, the hot air balloon. I am doing that with my monthly card club um, for the month of April. And the class is normally on a Sunday, but it's going to be on the Saturday before I go on the incentive trip. So 
I can make sure that I get that done. Um, so yeah, great um, stamp set, great dies, and quite a bit of versatility, and it's getting carried over into the new uh, catalog. So that's always a good um, plus when it gets carried over there. So you got lots of room to write on and everything else. Awesome. So if you like that, give me the thumbs up, share my video. I really do appreciate that. And if you live in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, and if you have any questions about anything like that, just make sure that you do reach out to me. Hi, Pam. Yeah, I like it as well. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Um, yeah, I thought this worked out okay. And it looks like it's flying away <laughs> i guess i don't know all right you guys um so i'll be back tomorrow with a technique um i've done something similar but this is stepping up a certain technique a little bit um further so i'm kind of excited about that that'll be at 4 30 pacific time tomorrow um now if you have like i say any questions do reach out thank you um so all right what else do i have to say not much. Remember to create because it's great for the soul and we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.